I will not submit to that. I can never be intimidated. Who's a dim man? In light of the IMO and NLC rule consigning the brutalization of comrade Ajaro, that is the NLC president, governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, has come out to speak about the issue. In a statement released on Premier Times, the governor spoke of how his administration regrets any form of assault meted on the NLC president. However, he said that Ajaro's protest was politically motivated. Speaking to the Imo State Council of Elders, who came to congratulate him for his victory in the gubernatorial election, Governor Opo Zodima said he will not be intimidated, stating that Ajaro did not even come to him, nor call him when he became NLC president. The governor said his government regrets any assault meted out to the NLC president in the state. But at the same time, I condemn in its entirety the attempt by the president of Nigerian Labour Congress to take the leadership of Imo State for granted. Mr. Ozonima said without giving details. The governor stated that Mr. Ajaro, a native of the state, had to use his authority as NLC president for the good of the state and not for personal gain. He claimed that Mr. Ajaro owned it to him as the governor of his own state to formally inform him of his election as NLC president. Not even one visit, not even one phone call to the governor of the state. Rather, he came in here, in Imo State, holding whatever meeting with my political opponent. That is not acceptable, and government must not be cowed by any non-state at all. I will not submit to that. I can never be intimidated, he declared. Imo State government is not owing any worker. The 2% of workers that were not being paid had discrepancies. Some of them before this time were transferred from one department to another department, and they were receiving salaries from where they left and where they went to. Some of them were not existing and never existed, and those ones were offloaded because we applied bill. By matrix, Mr. Uzadima said, and we gave up to nine months to every civil servant who is not receiving his or her own salary to come forward. Those who came forward and made some strong, genuine case were admitted into our payroll, the governor added. Okay, as long as you have the police and money, the judgment day is coming. Just mark my words. Yes, you should call who he should call you to get your token and blessings. Hope Uzodima started this fight with Ajero long ago during NLC State Congress to elect new officers in Uweri in March this year. Hope sent his talks to disrupt their Congress because he was planning to face his cronies into NLC Congress. Ajaru saw it as a big betrayer to his person, knowing that the fact that Uzodima is not fair to the Imo State workforce. Ajaru decided to dissolve the new ESCO, mainly Uzodima cronies, and from a Ketika in Imo State, this is how the fight started. It has not... It has nothing to do with political party interests, or not rather. It's rather Uzodima knew the NLC will one day expose him on what he's doing with workers in the most states. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, who is intimidating you? You have succeeded 
in creating a monster by your arrangement of gang of gragra okay against labor okay don't use nlc as a cover up ajaru is a is a labor party is is a labor party he is meeting with his party men justified what he came to do in imo otherwise a state governor has it, he, as the chief security officer of the state should know that he is in Imo state. You must be out of your senses. So. Can a civil servant be partisan? Do you have any evidence that Ajaro is a, polit is a politician? With, a polit with which political party? Who's the man thinks he is smart? When... All these things will knock you back. You are going to die. Man will also bury you. Who's the man must surely end one day? Well, but that is life. Everyone will one day, you know, die. That is how it is. Uh, the truth is that talking about these polities or whatever, whatever, I think... You know, they are they are missing this whole thing, you know. You understand? They are just misleading, you know, Nigerians. And uh, this is not fair. Uzo Dima should understand that this man is a, a Labour Party, sorry, please, pardon me, NLC president. NLC president. You understand? A whole NLC president was brutalized, was beaten by, by talk, you know, in your state. You understand? The police understand what it is. That was why they denied. But you coming out to say, yes, you came to intervene because the NLC president wants to play politics in your state. When did they tell people, say, make you they do the needful? Not be saying now for anything. Just do the needful. You understand? Because Governor Uzodima was afraid. Yes, he was afraid that maybe what has been happening in Imo State as the workers' protest is going to affect his re-election back to office. But anyway, he don't do what he do be that. So what else? Well, Nigerians, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.